Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. My name is Avkash and today we are going to learn a very interesting concept in machine learning named federated learning. So before we start learning about federated machine learning, let's take a look and understand what is the regular machine learning or the machine learning on the centralized data. The machine learning starts with data and you need lots of data and that data can be collected from tens of thousands of devices or all any kind of sources you have which generates data which is needed for the machine learning. All of this data is stored at a centralized location within the corporate server or enterprise machines, whatever you call them. And that's where the applications of the machine learnings can be tried. Once an enterprise or any organization decides to apply the machine learning on the centralized training data, the various algorithms, libraries or the machine learning frameworks are used to apply machine learning on the centralized training data and your output is the machine learning model which you generate in the several iterations of applying machine learning on the training data. Finally, the machine learning model is ready to apply for the business process. It is applied on the new data which gives you the results you are looking for. That's what we have seen in the traditional machine learning where the training is focused on the centralized training data. Now looking at the federated machine learning, we have to first take a look how Google has defined the federated or the collaborative machine learning. To understand the federated or the collaborative machine learning, let's take an example where we have federated machine learning is applied by a very large organization to these mobile devices which are scattered across the globe. There is a one device and similar to this one device, there are several other devices in the hands of various folks. These devices could be in millions or in billions in number. All of these devices gets the machine learning model from the corporate server or the corporate network which is being pushed by the enterprise and quickly the very first version of machine learning model is deployed to all of these machines. Now the machine learning model which is running on these devices start learning from the data which is available in the machine and slowly slowly it improves itself and these improvements could be very specific to the activity which are happening in the device and the data which is being generated based on the activities individual to that specific device. Similar to one device, all of these N devices, they start learning as well as improving themselves based on the individual activities which are happening on these individual devices. Soon, each device has ability to improve its model and that model update is ready to be sent from the device to the parent servers. Now the very first device takes the model update which is the delta of the information being sent as the delta update to the previous model and that delta update is sent to the parent server or the parent network. Similar to this one device, all of other devices are start sending their own delta update to the corporate or the parent servers and very quickly these delta updates related to the previous models are being aggregated and various machine learning algorithms are applied on this delta model update and finally the model is being updated by aggregating and averaging all the information updates which arrived from all of these devices. This update is being added to the previous model and the final model is ready which is going to be applied to all of these devices which has been already using the previous version of model and that's how the new model is being sent to all of these device which is ready to perform the next iteration of the federated learning and this procedure just going on again and again as needed by the enterprise network. And that is how 
the very large companies such as Google or the Facebook, they deploy the federated learning or the collaborative machine learning to all of these devices across the globe. One thing I would like you to be make yourself very clear is that the federated machine learning is not the model serving which happens on these mobile or the embedded device. So looking at the model serving, we have a device where a model is being deployed this model is going to perform some kind of machine learning on the stored data and the results will be the prediction or the updates which are generated when the model was applied to the data. Now these model predictions has to be sent from the device to the corporate server over the internet. Once the network connection between the device and the corporate or the enterprise server has been created the predictions or the results are being encrypted and being sent from the device to the corporate servers and that's how the remote model serving happens on any mobile device and this method is not the federated learning this is just very simple model serving happening on the mobile device now let's take a look and understand how the federated learning works for an enterprise who is going to perform the federated learning, they need very first version of their machine learning model, which is going to be deployed to all the connected devices. These devices are scattered across the globe. At very first stage, the very first version of the machine learning model has to be deployed to all of these devices. Once base model is deployed, the next step for the model at each device is to learn from the data which is available in the individual device based on various types of activities which are happening on individual device. So one thing became very clear is that we are not moving the data in this process. Instead, we are moving the model once the network connection is established between the device and the corporate server, the model updates are being sent from each individual device back to the corporate or the enterprise servers. Now the server aggregates all the data coming out from all of these devices and updates the model. After the model is updated from previous version to the latest version, all the aggregated data has been removed. After the corporate or the enterprise servers, they update the model. Now this model has to be sent back to all of these devices. And once the model is updated, now the model goes back to work again. And this process repeats over multiple round of training as needed. And in fact, we really don't need to train the model on all the devices at once. The training happens whenever the device itself is ready to perform the training depending on the data available in the device and all of these devices are sending their update depending on the network availability as well as the readiness of the Delta update. I hope now you have much better understanding about the federated machine learning. There are various algorithms, tools, technologies, libraries, platforms, everything has been developed to work on federated machine learning and make it useful for the enterprises like Facebook, Google and many others. So that's all I had for you in this video. Thank you so much for your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video.